All right, Doug, let me show you how to make a uh, the folder connection because um, I'm assuming yours is going to be similar to this. So I ran the tool, uh, although they're not highlighted, but I ran it earlier. And it says it's supposed to go to this conflict geodatabase. But if I go in here, you'll notice, just like yours, it's not going to be in there. We're looking for a table that looks kind of like this. It's not there. <clears throat> but if we put our cursor over this, or this, we'll notice that the pathway of where this geodatabase is located is C and then the GTKA, getting to know ArcGIS Pro conflict file path. So that's the file path to this. But if we go to this tool, this where it's going, because this is the output file location, this is where the file is going to be saved once you run this script. And it's going to here. That is a totally different pathway than the other. So what that means is we need to make a folder connection to this. And I'm assuming yours is going to be the same, but you can open it up. That's where it's going to go. So we need to make a folder connection to that. So to do that, let me go back to catalog. Here's the folders. We right click, add folder connection. And so now we need to go to my C drive. And it notices it says the ESRI press. And so I'll just click on that. And now I have pathways to that. Good to know. You can go to conflicts, conflicts. And there it is. So they're kind of, I just named, I was testing this. Where the heck is this going? I figured this out. So here it is. So that's why it is. And notice we put our cursor over here where we just made this folder connection. It's going to C, ESRI press, the getting to know ArcGIS conflict. So that's where it is. And so now you can just add that in there. You can open that up. And there's that. And then those are the total sum. So that's how you do it.